Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. We're ready to get going. Right, so I think first up, I should probably introduce what's going on here for anybody who hasn't joined in before. This is very high concept stream. This is Sunday brunch, so this is where I eat something between breakfast and lunch, and also um, play a puzzle game in a kind of relaxed, chatty environment. And we, we just see what happens, see what we can do in the game, and uh, and yeah, and have a nice time. So if anybody is uh, watching and would like to pop in chat and say hello, you're very welcome. I would uh, love to hear from you. Uh, we can have a little chat about puzzles or food or, or anything you like, really. Um, right, so next on the agenda is what am I eating? Now this, this will probably help uh, determine uh, whether you want to continue watching the stream or not. So, I have, I mean, this raises another question, but I'll introduce what the food is first. So I have some leftovers from yesterday. I um, I made a pizza, um, I made the, the base from scratch, um, and worked out what I wanted to put on it. Uh, but I made it quite late, so I didn't eat the whole thing. Um, so there is some leftover cold pizza for me for brunch today, um, which you may have an opinion on. Uh, but I wish to complicate that further by introducing the uh, information that there is pineapple on this pizza. I know that's a contentious thing in some circles, uh, so if you don't feel you can continue to watch this, um, I will understand. Uh, but that raises the, um, the further question for me of, is this? am I really having brunch if I've got leftover pizza from dinner yesterday? Is, is that lunch? Is that, sorry, is that brunch, or am I actually just having a Is that what's going on? It's nearly 11 here anyway. What is the difference? What is the what is the dictionary definition uh, of elevenses and brunch? Uh, is, is brunch more of a cooked meal between breakfast and lunch? Can it substitute for breakfast? Is it just a, a late breakfast that you're having? So many, um, so many ontological questions to be answered but I am I've got my cup of um, decaffeinated black tea with soy milk um, and my cold pizza and I think I'm gonna enjoy them both quite a lot so uh, on that on that count anyway I am um, I'm quite happy let's get the game showing up because I'm, I'm wearing on quite a lot let's have a um, where's the actual thing there is there we go there we go so that's the mini VMAC uh, emulator I haven't talked about the game we're playing the fool's errand which was uh, a game for classic Mac OS. Uh, 1987 was its original release. This is a slightly updated version from 1992, I want to say, if I can check. So it was created by um, one person, by Cliff Johnson, who is um, a very kind and has released uh, The Fool's Errand and also two other similar types of games uh, for free, um, already wrapped up in the emulator package. Um, and you can download them from his website. Um, I'll get the Fool's Errand loading up here. Oh, nice double click, there you go. Uh, 98, so it's revised to 98. There we go. Um, I will just find the website for you because that would be a, a cool thing to um, to drop in for anybody who's interested in uh, picking up the game or any of his others themselves. Um, Okay, how do I, how have I bookmarked this? I think it's as, yeah, if I put full, there you go. Yeah, so have a look at this page. If you would like to, I'll pop it in, um, I've got, because I'm double streaming again, if, um, sorry, I hadn't mentioned that, I'm streaming both live both to YouTube and Twitch in the hope that uh, uh, it might reach a, a wider audience um, and I've got th currently got three chats open just in case you know and they are all working this time um, and I've got chat visible on the screen um, so my any chats that I make uh, to both streams will appear twice with the relevant um, channel uh, I guess platform platform symbol uh, before my name uh, will appear on screen um, but any chats that you guys make in either of the chats will appear on screen once um, if you're just watching on Twitch you won't see the YouTube chat other than on the screen and if you're watching on YouTube you won't see the Twitch chat other than on the screen 
I can change that, but then I would have to change how the uh, the chat appears on screen as well, which I'm I'm fully prepared to do. But I'm kind of gambling on there not being too many chatters in either in either channel this time around. Um, so I think it will work all right with the current setup. So one good and uh, important thing for this stream to note is that um, if you were to visit um, Clifton's website, um, interested in these games, not only has he provided a download for the games themselves in an emulator, um, he also provides the manuals for the games as a um, as a zip file to download, um, which I have done, and I read I read the fool's errand one before we started up, um, and. Uh, Included in there is a hint book for the Fool's Errand, which I have consulted between sessions because we streamed this uh, previously uh, last week, last Sunday. We had a brunch then, um, and uh, it went really well. But we were stuck on two particular things, which I'm going to come back to uh, today. So first, we're going to, need to uh, load our file. So we need to open um, stream. We need to open. There we go. I don't want to save the, the new game has started, no. Alright, so this should... Yeah, so this knows um, what we're about. Um, so this, the two, uh, the two uh, puzzles that we haven't uh, solved are the Page of Wands and the Fighting Boys, the ones we've, we've looked at and haven't completed yet. I'm going to um, get up the Page of Wands, uh, which is this puzzle. There you go. That was my last attempt to solve it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I will pop the description up there for you to have a look at it for a second. Um, I will mute myself to munch a bit of pizza because I'm, I'm feeling peckish. Um, so have a look at this for a minute and tell me what you think, uh, what we might need to do to solve this. So the description as written is to solve this puzzle, find the hidden letters below and enter them into the blank boxes. So that's what we're trying to do here. I think the sound of me eating would make some incredible audio, so we might we might try that later on, but I don't want to overwhelm anybody. Okay, so search this picture. Um Well, I suppose we find the hidden letters below. It doesn't specify how you're supposed to find them. Um, which is fair enough, I suppose. So I was thinking along the lines, and I believe I speculated this um in the previous stream, that maybe the shapes of letters are hidden somewhere in this image. Maybe, maybe I was thinking maybe tiny letters were hidden somewhere. So what I've been doing um, was thinking maybe this is an O, maybe this is a W. So I put in like, ow. And I was thinking, well, what shape does the fool's body make? How, what order would we put these letters in if we found them? Is that a T? Is that is that kind of a K? Is that is an A between the fool's legs? Um, is is that a that's like a backwards P? But I don't know if that counts. That's kind of an M. That could be an X, things like that, and that's um, that is barking up the wrong tree. Um, as I, I kind of, yeah, I was kind of running out of ideas because I'd examined it closely with my eyes, as uh, as as close as I could. Couldn't see any obvious um, way in which I would find derived letters from this, unless it was kind of a a cryptic visual clue kind of situation. Um, so I turned to the hymn book, and the hymn book says, uh, search the picture with the mouse. 
So I was going like, okay, well maybe I need to, maybe it's like hidden, hidden interaction, so I need to like click around the picture, like this. No, and that wasn't working, so I decoded the second line of the hint, and it said, especially at the bottom. So I was like, well, like, well, like, you mean like, down here? Yeah, so basically, you just have to hover the mouse over the space in the border of the picture, directly below where the letters are, and I'll tell you what the words are in sequence. Um, so I'm, I don't know, I, this is definitely the only puzzle I found that hasn't worked for me yet in terms of, um, uh, in terms of, uh, really getting to grips with it, because I feel like the puzzle is, I mean it's not really, I don't think it's really can really count as a puzzle, it's just an obfuscation of um, a task that you need to do, and there's not really a means of working that out, because finding hidden letters to me doesn't necessarily necessitate interaction as a means of moving the mouse around. Um, so that that was a struggle for me, but um, we've got the answer to the east. So that would probably jump us to a new section of text here. Yeah, the Knight of Wands, which is yeah part of uh, section one as well. Um, so uh, we won't do the Knight of Wands yet. We'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, but I want to go to the Fighting Boys, which was the other one. Oh yes, it's uh, fighting over Bad Yam. Often the image uh, doesn't necessarily reflect the. Um, the current situation, but what will happen next? <laughs> Excuse me, a little, little burp popped out there. Okay, so the Fighting Boys. This is an interesting one. I do, I do enjoy interacting with this one. So it says press all the buttons in the correct order to reveal two words. So we determined before that um, if you press uh, button one, it swaps the first and last letters uh, that are, are present. If you press two, you get an N at the start of your words. Um, if you press three, you get a G at the start of your words. If you press four, you get an E before uh, the, the chain of words, chain of letters, and you get a U after. Um, and if you press five, you also get an N before. Um, and I had been speculating out loud about the words that we could make. Because we only get the letters, uh, we get two N's, an E, G, a U, and a W. So I was trying to make new gun because that seemed the most credible uh, solution to me. Um, but I also speculated on uh, the words bit of words when and GNU. But I didn't put together that you could actually um, just spell new GNU, um, which it turns out I think I've worked out the sequence for because I worked it out with uh, pencil and paper after we'd streamed because it was niggling at me. So. I think if we press 3, we get a G before, and if we press 2, or possibly 5, we get an N after. If we press 1, we swap those two. If we press 4, we get an E before and a U after, so we've got GNU already. Um, and then 5 should put N at the start, and we get new GNU. I think that was the answer. Brilliant, yes, yeah, so a new GNU new is a... Uh, uh, another one of these uh, extra clues. Um, so we do need to go and write these down. You'll see on the screen if you um, if you haven't joined one of these before. I've got a little little notebook here um, with notes from the different locations that we've been to, because ultimately uh, our goal and I I forgot to mention this at the start of the stream is that we're solving individual puzzles along each of these tarot themed. Uh, sections in five uh, five menus there um, we're trying to solve each of those and uh, unlock ones that haven't been unlocked yet so we can go back to the sun sort of the um, one of the overarching puzzles where we can unlock map segments so when we complete an individual puzzle we get a new map segment to look at I don't think they correspond to directly to the location we're in necessarily um, because this is all jumbled up so we need to get it in the right order Sometimes the locations visually don't look like they are described um, in the puzzle segments. So you have to try and decode that. You have to try and get a continuous path 
um, from the sun, which is the star, through each of these locations in the order they're presented there, which is pretty interesting. Um, and along the way, the, um, the way to fully complete the game is to work out the names of the 14 treasures. I don't know how we do that or in what context we can prove that we know the names of the 14 treasures, but that's, uh, that's what we're aiming for, really. Okay, um, I will probably come back to try and do some of the sun map this um, this time playing because uh, I believe the manual recommended that you don't leave it all to the end which which kind of makes sense although I kind of like to get like a clear run from the start maybe through a few of them just to get just to know what that is like okay so where should we go now I suppose we go with the earliest unrealized un uh, Incomplete, incomplete one. There we go. The Knight of Wands. Uh, but I am going to have another munch. Should we try? Let's we try the audio for a sec. Okay, let's see if you like this. Okay, successfully had a munch there. I hope there was some some fulfilling audio in there for <laughs> for all the uh, uh, eating ASMR folks. Okay, so this is the Knight of Wands. Let's read what this has to say. Just then, a great white horse galloped up to him, carrying a fully armoured knight. Quickly, have you seen a page come this way? Yes, he went to the south to seek the pyramids, the fool replied. The south? The knight puzzled. But the pyramids are to the east of us. See? The middle one is inscribed with the letter X. The fool saw that this was so. What was then the south is now the east. I met him further back. That is good. The queen shall reward you, shouted the knight as he galloped away. So most of these uh, are fairly nonsensical, I'd say. Uh, we've got, uh, worryingly, we've got multiple uh, references to the pyramids and what's inscribed on the middle one of them. And they are somewhat conflicting. Um, So, that's something to uh, bear in mind. I'll make a note. The middle of the pyramid is inscribed with X's, 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 um, and it's to the south. I suppose an important element of this to bear in mind is that we're not unlocking and reading the parts of the story in chronological order. So, if we need that order to make full sense of the puzzle pieces, um, Oh, and to, and to the X, and to the sound. Um, got myself a little bit confused there. Uh, yeah, so if we need that order to fully make sense of what we're reading, uh, we might need to wait until the end to, to maybe decode stuff. So we're getting lots of, we get, there's lots of um, individual letters uh, in reference to places, uh, both here and on the sun map. There, you can see sort of individual letters. There's also Roman numerals um, in places as well, which is interesting. But then we also get these, um, like with Bad Yam and uh, New Gnu, we get these uh, three-letter words, which seem like they're going to be um, 
components of a larger clue or part of an anagram or, or something. So we'll need to work out what we need to do with those. But let's have a look what the Knight of Wands puzzle is. Oh, oh, it's another um, encoded one. Omijuku with sadness, which I think I overthought the last one we did. So I'll just start simply and I will type in the ones we know about. So uh, O is S. And if you do one, it changes all the others, I believe. I think. And M, let me just see if that actually is true when I do. Yeah, there you go. Um, so as long as the key at the bottom is uh, m matches up sadness with sadness, um, I won't have gone too far wrong that way. Okay. Um, J is N. C is E. That should probably help with a few words, shouldn't it? And S is S. Okay, so we've done. Yeah, we've done the whole thing there. Okay, so let's try and work out what it would be useful to change. So A is good, and C A something E is good. I mean, that's probably, as it's got A before, it's probably a noun, it's probably a cave. Oh, with that in? No. That doesn't seem quite right, does it? Because, um, because of, um, I was, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Um, because of that one now ending with a V. There's not many words do end with V in English, so I'm gonna perhaps say that's not quite right. Um, you know, E something A N is correct as well, which is interesting. That's a double letter. That's definitely an E. That's a double letter. That's an R. That's is that an I? No, we don't know that's an I. We don't know the O is anything. What's something E? He? Does that help? This one might be a little tricky. I think we've got fewer letters than we had in the last one. So, oh, S E E is going to be correct. Um, I don't know about any of these other no, 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 there's necessarily C saws. Um, he and he was. That would make sense. Well, well, that's got to be well, isn't it? Well, he something. So this is sort of written in a conversational tone. Um, X. Ah, oh, do we know? We don't know X or R. Correct. So that's right. I'll leave that. Um, y. You know what? Why? I think it's got to be I. I think that's the only. We know A. I think that's the only single letter word that we're likely to see here. Well, he. A ran. I. Oh, well, he. A. In. Something, something, and he was seeing. No, see, seething. T H I don't know. What what begins with C? Hmm. She could that no because I know what S is, don't I? Um, do I know what I? Th yeah, I thought I knew what H was, but oh, the. Does that make more sense? I get a in go well I get a cave in to into now there's a 
larger gap between these two words. So is that is an implied full stop there? Do we think? Mm. Okay, now um, as delightful as the audio probably was, I'm going to mute myself while I eat a little bit more pizza and uh, ponder this. I might be uh, silently typing a few things. And if you uh, if you're if you're watching out there and have any suggestions, please do let me know. Just check the um, puzzle description there in case there was anything extra I need to know. But it does seem to be the same, um, same as before, where it's a substitution cipher. I will go back to eating now. Okay, I've just come to the conclusion that if that's G, we can get cage, which is an, a noun that, that could fit there nicely. And that would also put a G at the end of this word, which is more plausible than some of the other alternatives that we could go with. Either a, um, an M or a V. Um, so this could be something in. It does have to start S-E-E because we know those letters to be correct. Um, but I'm trying to think. Seeping? I wonder if that was we, but it, yes, hmm, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Um, so that definitely ends with S and D. Pyramids. This has got to be pyramids. So that might help, you know. Alright, so we've got pyramids. Um, so anything that's in pyramids will be correct elsewhere. That looks like that's got to be travels now, surely. Aha! Something, something, something. I met a page in my travels and. Ah! He was seeking. He was seeking the pyramids. Began. Well, he began. 
Ah, oh, well, he began, I met a page in my travels and he was seeking the pyramids. So is that just a quote from the actual text? Is that, is that what we were looking for in the end? Let's go back to see. Oh, no, we're in a, we've been jumped. Um, page of Knight of Wands. Yeah, no. That's not, it's a paraphrase of it. Yes, he went to the south to seek the pyramids. How interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, we did that one. So next, the next available one in this string is the stone wall. So let's try that. Oh, it's the new GNU one. Okay, sure. Let's write this down. Uh, stone wall. Okay, so this one. Near a stone wall was a burly fellow who guarded nine tall fighting staffs. Could you tell me if this is the correct way to the Queen's Palace? inquired the fool. You go no, was his pert reply. I beg your pardon, the fool had to ask. New Gnu, he repeated. An old Gnu is not new, and only a new Gnu is true. The fool nodded agreeably and quickly moved on. Alright. Uh, new Gnu. New Gnu, everybody. What's new Gnu with you? Um, so there is a puzzle here. Let's have a look at it. I think there was only one occasion where we read a new block of text and there wasn't a puzzle with it. Which is interesting. I can see what we get. Ooh! Fun. This looks like it might be a similar word searching kind of thing. I like the image. Very nice. Um, okay. To solve this puzzle, use the clues shown in the picture to find the correct letters. Then enter those letters into the blank boxes. Okay. So I'm wondering if... Well, what have we got? So that's... S R E J. So are we missing maybe one letter to make that a complete word? This just says Opal, but and this says T N K F. This is D W I B. This is V U H C. G X M Y. Ooh, that would be hard to string into a word, probably. Hmm, I wonder. Um, I think if I can think of any um, just at the top of my head that would uh, well, if that one was uh, that could be Plato I think it could be names I don't know if that works um, D W I B No, I, I mean, I don't think we're going to make a name out of that one. Not that I can readily uh, call to mind. It's sorely missing a, a vowel, I can tell you that. Um, interesting. S O E J O P A L T N K F. I might. Give that a little bit of thought. Oh, a nice little wrap there. Let me give this a little bit of thought off to the side. Let's have a look at one of the other ones that we can do because we've got lots of options for things to solve. And we've got some in three and we've got plenty in four and five to, to have a look at. So let's go for the Queen of Wands first of all. Okay. Uh, oh, this has got a longer bit of text, which is interesting. Um, I will make an entry on my notepad too. Keep writing want to sort of want. There we go. Lovely. Okay. So, on the way, he picked a bright yellow sunflower and presented it to the queen. It is beautiful, she whispered, stroking its spreading petals. It will not bring back our most treasured possession. We did not want war, but when the sword stole our royal wand, we had no choice but to retaliate. But I thought that a war was over, the fool pondered. Surely your royal wand will be returned to you in due course. I would like to believe your kind words, she murmured softly, but I fear for the worst. We are a pleasant country folk, not warriors, 
and even as we speak, the other kingdoms betray our trust. If my son, if only my son, the page, would come home, my heart would be lightened. The fool considered this for a moment. Oh, was that not not page one of two? Hang on. I'll just go up and sit down. There you go. Oh, this is the bit of text that we uh, was a solution to the puzzle. Well, he began. I met a page in my travels, and he was seeking the pyramids. I told this to the knight who was searching for him. Praise be, the queen cried out. The queen cried out. You have brought me much happiness. Please take this magic word, clack, and may it bring you equal happiness. Eagerly, the fool wrote down the magic word and skipped out of the castle merrily. All right, let's write down clack. So that's interesting. That's a four-letter word which has been highlighted for us, which. Um, I'm not sure the significance of that, but we've we've got it, got it here in our notes. So there is a puzzle here as well. Let's see what this one's about. Oh, okay. Just a little uh, word square. To solve this puzzle, we arrange the letters to create three words that read horizontally and three words that read vertically. Ah, I see. Uh, the centre letter is already correct and cannot be moved. To switch two letters, select the first letter by clicking it with the mouse and then select the second letter. The two letters will swap positions. Fair enough. All right, I think we can. I think we can do this. So C is the middle letter. So ice. I mean, ice is a good one. That's probably going to appear somewhere, isn't it? Um, let's have a wad. Um, and an ends. That doesn't quite work, does it? Uh, was ace win. Oh, said isn't the word, is it? Um, Wes, um, Nads, Wiz, um, so that could be, Ice could be, oh, Ice was there originally, wasn't it? I'm, let's put Ice this way. Ice, I mean, Ice could be a, um, a misdirection, couldn't it? Um, Wed is also a word, but then that would get rid of, so let's assume that's the same place for now. Um, and we'll do Sin, and wed and ek ek are not really a word, but ace is ned, not a word. Um, I mean, so is a word. Um, I think ice has got to be one of the words, isn't it? So, ice, nad, dan, dan. Um, Din is a word. Um, ice is a word. Dew is a word. Or is a word. But then I don't think we can get away with W being in the middle position anywhere. Which is interesting. Um, so. Nor. That's the wrong kind of nor. I mean, it's. Probably the right kind of all, but it's just spelled incorrectly. So, uh, what do we want? What do we want to do? Do we want to um, swap that, and that, and then that, and then, and then? What to do with the D, really? Um, I mean, Wed's good. A C in the middle of so C's got to be in the middle of two words. Ice could be one of them. What would another one be? Ace, you would think, would be the other. Um, so it could be like that, or it could be the other way around. So it'd be like that, like that, um, and then you just need to work out the positions of these four. Um, so, uh, you can be wan, you can wid, mm, you can't, well, I mean, you can whiz, but that, again, not correct, not correctly spelled there. Um, den, wad, den, sen, 
doesn't work. Um, or we can go. Jiggle this around. So I think that might be not, might not be the right way around. So if we do ice and ace like that, and then was. Um, said Ned, no. Des, Nes, no. Do, Din, new. So, that oh, Daz. I can't end up with Daz. Sad. Hey, do we do it? Sad, ice, new, sin, ace, dew. Did it. Maybe we should have made a list of all the possible words for that. Oh, no, we did it. Alright, so then we get the wand. Where is the wand? Oh, it is on this thing. It has no puzzle. Interesting. It probably has a clue. So let's... Let's have a go at this. Uh, we'll read it through and we'll write down our clue. At least what we think is the clue. Okay. The narrow path led him to a grassy plain, and there he saw an immense wooden staff mounted upon a stone pedestal, engraved with the letter S. Aha! The fool shouted. The royal wand has been returned. You are mistaken, little one, the statue replied solemnly. Here I have stood for many generations. I am the symbol of his lordship, the king. Oh my, the fool stammered, following the path once again. This must mean the royal wand is ever even larger yet. He could not imagine such a thing. There we go. Um, Alright, so... Um, right, so this location has stone pedestal, big star stone pedestal, Stone pedestal, pedestal, letter S. There we go. So I think that that seems like so when we get things like that, it seems very definitely like a, a concrete description of the place as we need to find it on the map. Um, other times things are a bit more abstracted. Alright, so that was that. So what are we missing on this one? We're missing... We've, we've still got a fair few that are unlocked, which is interesting. The stone wall uh, was this one with the vines, wasn't it? Alright, let's just take another look at that for a sec while I munch. Um, and then I'll, I'll see, see what I want to do next.
Okay, still not quite sure what this is asking us to do or how best to interpret this information. I was thinking maybe uh, is it significant that the plant would grow from the ground up, so we need to look at them from bottom up order? Is it okay to look at them in any order? Um, is there an interrelationship chip between the um, individual uh, columns? Or um, do we keep, treat them separately from each other? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I can't really think of, apart from Plato, which I tried there, I can't think of any words that would combine all these letters plus one more. Um, yeah, so I'm not quite sure what we're going to do there, so I'll leave that one again. Let's go on to, I guess the next next uh, soonest one is, uh, I'm looking forward to the Not a Merchant, that'll be an interesting one. Uh, the Queen of Cups, let's visit them. Okay, oh, we'll get a magic word there, we'll get a magic word from each of the Hang on, let me put magic word in for the, the Queen of Wands there. Alright, let's have a look at the Queen of Cups. Okay, so, he crossed a wooden bridge spanning a dark moat and quietly entered a castle of solemn beauty. There he found the queen, sitting beside the shimmering waters of a majestic fountain. Do you bring word of our treasure? she asked eagerly. Alas, I do, he sighed. Your knight says that no ship has landed upon your shore. So they break their agreement, the queen hissed through clenched. So they break their agreement, the, quis the queen the quis The queen hissed through clenched teeth. What can be expected from such faithless ones? I fear that a holy war is the only way to scourge this evil from the land. Those who do not believe in the words of truth shall live to rue the consequences. Please, I must have some time alone. My heart is not yet hardened to the grim task that lies ahead. Take the magic word, Yanal, for your troubles, and go in peace. Yanal. Not sure what that's all about. That's not. That's not a word that's own right. But then I guess clack wasn't really, was it? Interesting. Um, word. Is, is there a second section? There isn't a second section to that one. So let's just have a look at the puzzle for the queen. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay, it's a queen type of puzzle. Let's just check. Yeah, so we're doing the same thing. All right, let's do it again. Um. So I. Yeah, I is definitely in the middle of the letter. I feel like Ty is probably going to be one of them, and. Actually, there's probably it's probably different, more difficult. There's probably more options because we have something that ends ID or IN. Um, if we could have WIN, and then that leaves O's there, which I don't really like. Um, but then I don't think O's would go very readily with uh, either side of a um, of an I. So that's intriguing. Okay, um, yeah, because I don't think we're doing Spanish, are we? So, Tim. I mean, Ion, but I can't, I can't move that one. Um, Lou is good. <laughs> um, Mio. Uh, oh, I think this might be a bit trickier than uh, EI. EI doesn't really do anything, does it? So it can't be that. Um, it's got to be. something like this. Eno. Uh, one. Ah, oh, one. That's got to be one of them. Uh, no, uh, no pun intended there. Um, a, a D in the middle, that's not really going to do it, is it? Um, so let's do a tin in the middle. 
um, and think of yeah it's having a consonant in the middle is also tricky isn't it um, I mean owl would be good um, but then I would oh, that's not quite right is it either um, you know what I like it I think the one would have to be at the end I think it would um, because I don't think I can spell anything that begins NI so the end would have to be either here or here I believe so let's try one over here um, so that's something I N um, and then oh we can have low no we can't have low because that's, that's the end over there but we can have low Hmm, no, no, we can't. This, yeah, it doesn't really work um, in the middle of the word currently. That's fine. O, one and O both function, don't they? But they both need the O at the start of the word. So, can, what can I do with this? Tim. Uh, Dio, Dio. Um, one seems good, but I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can make it work. Low. Is that what do is? Um, but then we're out of vowels again. So I don't really want to use two in one word, but we might need to. Word doll dot is a word. Hmm. Well, that feels. And then we've lost the. Oh, uh, okay. Sure. Um, ode is a word. Um, so that's fine. That's fine. But then what? What? What's going on here? Okay. Ode is what we can do as well. Um, but would only work in that combination, I think. Let's see where we can get it to work. Um, end also is one, so we could do like ode. Uh, oh no, but then we've lost the D, haven't we? Um, one, and then no, no, it's no, it's not the other way. Um, toe, toe is good. Um, all right, can we? Can we do it by determining what the middle words will be like we did last time. Um, do we think that would work? So we could just start writing down words that we can use that might help. That's what I was speculating on last time, wasn't it? So um, this is oh, it's still the Queen of Cups. That's all right. I wrote down um, one. Uh, do you? lid so I guess yeah if I just try and find the ones that could have um, I in the center so we've got lid we've got um, not not that's not how you spell not is it um, we've got oin we've got din they do reuse letters so I need two that don't reuse letters basically um, I've got lit, lit is good, and tin is one, oh, tin is one, um, so like din and lit would go together, they'd be a, a possible pairing, um, we've got wit, wit also as well, there's lots of options, wit, so wit and uh, din could go together as well, and that's probably the the combos that we we can do, isn't it? Because those are the yeah okay. So I think it's lit and din or wit and din, probably um, or lid and tin. 
Yeah, lead and team would work as well. Oh, heck. Alright, um, lead, lead and tin. Let's try that. So, I pop that here as a combo. Okay. Try that one. Uh, so if we've got lid and tin, what else can we make there? We can get ooh, something with L in the middle is difficult maybe? Oh, Ole. Something with a T in the middle is difficult as well. But with a W in the middle, that might... That feels like there's more potential there. So it'd be wit and din, I think. Din. Because then there's, you can have owl and you have ode. And the only way it doesn't work is that one. So what if I swap the positions around? So it's wit and din. And then that could be Owl. Oh, but then you still get the, um, it's close, isn't it? It's close. Oh, well. Um, that is close. Okay. Um, so could I go Lid and Wit? I could go Lid and Wit. Um, so wit and din was a no. Lid and wit. So did we say that one was a no? I think we did. Okay. Lid and wit um, own. Oh, that's another good one. Oh, could I have done that with no, I couldn't have done that with the other combo because the end was used up. Um, okay. Uh, Owen. Or. Actually, no, I don't think that. I don't think you can do much with what you've got there to make letters. I uh, make, make words. So I think that's, that's a no, that one. Right, din and lit. Din and lit. So we got T in the middle there, which is a. I feel like that's a problem. And L in the middle. Not great. Um. Um, uh, no, I'm just clicking around at random there. Uh, dit dot. No, I can't change the middle. Uh, lin. Li, lie. Oh, lie. Oh, lie. That would be handy, wouldn't it? Oh, let's try that. So if we've got lie, that's one of them. And then also, um, What's, what's one that could go complementary with that? A wit still, we could still do wit. And then we could have owl, and we could have lead, we could have oon. Oh yeah, I've missed, no. We could have own, and then we could have old and neo, and de toll. No, this doesn't work. Um, what if I swap the things around? Um, well, you know what? Our T T is still a problem, isn't it? So not wit. Um, din could work. That's the other one. Din and lie. And you've got an N in the middle, which oh no, um, could be a problem. Uh, yeah, that's not that's not so good, is it? Lie and wit. No, lie and din 
is no um, lie and tin. Again, that's a T in the middle, which is tricky. Um, lie and yeah, I don't think lie is going to work, is it? Okay, that's a shame. Um, so I don't think if you combine with with the other no tid no lid. All right, did I have a try did and lit? Let's not. Uh, let's just make sure we've checked that off. Um, I think that's tricky because of the T. So anything that ends in a T is tricky to do. So or anything that has a T in a T in it. So not have a T in there. So which again points me back to lie really, doesn't it? Put a lie there, because then you've got a really handy, and you want kind of. I, I think I want win. If I put win there, does that does that help? So I can't. I can only move those ones. So I've got old out. I don't think that works. Own can be done, and dot can be done. Oh, that's we O that hasn't. Oh. So we're pretty close there. Um, pretty close. But that doesn't quite function. So, uh, a lid. A wit. Known. I don't. I know low. I need low. Hmm. This one's tricky, isn't it? Okay. Uh. Dim lit. Wit dim. Lie wit. Lie dim. All right, any other lie ones I could get away with? Because I think that's a good one to... I mean, I could, you could have tie, but then that's the problem of the T's, isn't it? I think the T's needs... the T needs to be in a corner. I am reasonably confident of that. I think the D also needs to be in a corner. The N... the E, W and the N could conceivably be in the middle. Um, What if I did one there? Does that win? And toe is good, isn't it? Um, I hadn't thought of toe. Um, ode. Ode, one. Win, lid, two. Slow. Uh, so it doesn't quite work there, which is a shame because again we got quite close. Mm. Uh, two obviously you could do, but then I don't think the O. I don't think the O works in any of the I words, so they have to be the corners too. Oh, interesting. So the O's. If the O's have to be in the corners, right? Because I don't th think we can combine them with any of our I words. Does that... that seems to be true. Oil. I suppose oil we could do. I hadn't thought of that one. Alright, let's do oil. Oil. And then you've got an L in the middle, which is more helpful. Um, Alright, what can we combine with oil that we haven't done? So we can do we can do tin, which again I don't want to do because the a win would work better, I I think. Um you could have you could have one there and then you've got your two. 
Um, you've got L E, which doesn't quite work there. Um, you have a tongue and a nod. Hmm. Uh, let's try oil going the other way. Oil and I think. Yeah, I think only. Din would work there. You could put Ode there. But then you've got Oot, which is. Uh, I don't think guess that's going to quite work. Um, you've got too many consonants clustered together then. Hmm, there's a nice thought. Oil, but I don't know if that's gonna. No, I think. So it could be oil and. Um, can't really be lit. I don't think, because of the uh, the T problem. Um, it could be. So I think it would be like oil and wit. I think it would have to be oil and... Yeah, I don't think oil works with any of the others. I mean, D is possible, so I think it would be oil and did if it were going to be anything. But, saying that, you then end up with um, several things together that don't really work, I don't think. I mean, they can have an E on, which is interesting. Um, again, I don't think that works, because what's this, what's this one going to be? I haven't worked that out yet. Um, no, that's not going to work. Alright, so I don't think that's a good one. Um, I, will, I will come back to this. Maybe with a fresh pair of eyes later on. Return to the scroll. Okay, I think they're getting tougher these these puzzles. Um, we could have a look at the Hierophant. Keep all our notes um, because it'll probably be useful later on. Let's check how we're doing for time. Oh wow, it's gone twelve here already. I'll I'll go till half twelve, which is the time my dad usually stream till for a Sunday brunch. So another twenty five minutes or so. And we'll see see what we can do. So yeah, so uh think up to the hierophant as well. Oh, okay. Interesting. Keeping to the path, the fool located a hidden fortress perched precariously atop a lonely crag. It was here that he encountered the mighty Hierophant. I know of your quest, spoke the priest suspiciously. Four others have come before you. But I seek no harm to anyone, the fool assured him. Ah, but harm has already been done. The four kingdoms are on the verge of another war. The countryside is ravaged by famine, and even as I speak, the spectre of death roams the land. He could not imagine how he had been the cause of such things. Nonetheless, the priest continued, I am compelled to help you in this matter. Little good it may do you. Take this and be gone. With a flash of lightning, the fool appeared back on the mountain trail. Etched into the rock at his feet with the numbers 15 and 24 and 2. Okay. Uh, four others have come before you. I wonder if that's a before the letter U. Um, etched on rock. Etched on rock. 15, 24, 2. I think I can be a bit too literal for puzzles sometimes. Hard to get in the right headspace for them. Okay, here is the Hierophant puzzle. Let's see what this is all about. What's, what's this then? The puzzle, this puzzle is jumbled. To solve it, rearrange all the jumbled letters into the correct positions. 
to select a letter by clicking it with the mouse then select a second letter two letters will swap positions okay so two words at the moment I assume others will probably fill in okay um, what's got all these letters in it's got three E's in it it's got two T's in it oh 13 right what's that Oh no, because there's no I tree E's. Interesting. What about this one? It's got two E's. Hang on. Oh, oh, oh. So I can, I can swap. Oh, this is interesting. I can swap the letters in. It changes what that. Le oh, it changes what all the letters can be. <gasps> Oh my goodness, that is interesting. I'm going to reset it. Um, will it reset it? No. Yes, that's not how I left it, I don't think. Okay. Or is it how I left it? Oh, oh well. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, five letter. And this could be any letter because it could be, it could be an M. It could, that could go... Yeah, they just swap freely between the two words. Wow. Um, a clue? No clue. Interesting. I think they are getting more demanding the further we're getting through the game. Um, and this is kind of the level of puzzle I was a little bit nervous about having to face because, um, as I said, I don't think my brain always uh, is always in the right uh, mode to to interpret this kind of thing. So we've got thrown. This is only a five letter word. Um, you know, I think I might come back to this one a bit as well. Let's see um, what's next. So after I have is the moon, which is interesting because we met the sun already. Yet the shadow of night had cloaked the land, and the fool could not tell from which direction he had come, or to which direction he should go. If only this map would make any sense. If only this map made any sense, he moaned, removing the wrinkled parchment from his knapsack and staring at it. The sun is a trickster, echoed a voice from above. But it was he who gave me this map, replied the fool, looking up. It was to be my guide to the 14 treasures of the world. And so it will be, but not in the way that you think, the present moon replied. The map shows you only of the places you have visited, and never of the places you have not. But how will that help me find my way out these mountains, the fool pleaded. Just follow the path to the west, he replied. Okay, the map shows you only of the places you have visited. Interesting. But how will that help me find my way out these mountains, the fool pleaded. Just follow the path to the west. Okay, well that answers my questions about the map, doesn't it? Which is interesting. Map shows only... That's why it makes it easier to interpret before you get to the end. Uh, only places uh, you have visited. Interesting. Um... I think it so, only shows you the ones uh, where you've solved a puzzle as well. So I don't think the stone wall, for example, would be on there, or any of the other ones that we've um, we've uh, skipped over for now. Interesting. Well, that's it's kind of cool that that's built into the game. What's the puzzle for the moon? Ooh, lots of letters, much to accomplish, it says at the bottom. Uh, press the correct buttons to reveal three secret letters. M, O, U, C, H, R, T, O, A, C, C, O, M, P, L, I, S, H. Ooh, how, how will I... How am I going to work this one out? 
So do you have to press all of them? No, it says press the correct button, so... Or oh, you can toggle it off. Oh, interesting. Oh, that will be... That will probably be more... I feel like... C? C looks like it's got something going on. Like an end thing. That kind of connects up. I'd say no to that. Or to that. Maybe that? Maybe that. Um, let's see if we can get the end to no. pop in there. I mean, that might be it might be a, another red herring, mightn't it? That could be... Well, right, so there's nothing that makes an N out of that, so I guess it's not that. Um, how tricky. Do that. Let me add to that. I mean, that does kind of that overwrites some of it, which is probably not great. Oh, I and H seem to uh, complement each other. That doesn't particularly. That doesn't. That doesn't. So I think we want ones that don't overwrite each other generally. That's, I don't know, starting to make something. I wonder if the edge is significant? How many edges have it? Um, I guess we look at the types of shapes that are made. So there's only straight lines of 45 degree angles. So they're going to have to be made out of those shapes, which is interesting. Um, Which kind of limits the graphic representation of the letters, um, I think. Oh, that's such a tricky one too. I mean, those feel like they could go together, don't they? But then that doesn't really work with that. That overlaps that, and that overlaps that. I'm assuming the white space, the negative space, is what uh, where the letters will form. But I don't, so I don't know how many buttons we need, or. Well, I mean that. So that looks like that's got some promising shapes in there to form something. But then, what would what would go with that? I mean that goes alongside that. that overwrites that. That complement now well, almost complements that, but takes some of it away. Doesn't really help. Um, that oh that complements that actually. So maybe that should go there. Uh, that doesn't. That kind of changes things a bit. Um, hmm, I feel like those three kind of kind of work together. Um, that I mean, it changes that space and doesn't really give us any letters. So I don't know about that. Um, Changes that end. That doesn't really help there. I, don't know. 
feel like this is something I could fiddle with all day and not quite see what I'm supposed to see. I wonder if the as the buttons have um, letters on them, whether there's something to that, whether uh, whether there's um, a word that we could put in to um, to make what we need to do uh, to make the uh, sequence we need to. Um, so I don't think the magic words that we've got can be spelt with this. We've got clack. So I've got two C's, I'm sure. But there's no L. Um, and you know, I've got no Y. So I think that's a hint to, to that. Um, shall we? I will abandon that one for now. We've abandoned lots um, this time. Which... Uh, I guess I, I feel a little dis disappointed that we've had to. Should we have a look at one more? We'll have a look at the Emperor, and then we'll have a quick look at the Sun map to see if we can piece anything together. Oh my goodness. Whiff Dove, I can see already. Okay. Okay, squinting into darkness, the fool did just that, and just what? And uh, by daybreak, he had come to the home of the Emperor and Empress. Fourteen treasures? The Emperor boomed in a raspy voice. Fourteen... How do you do a raspy voice? Fourteen treasures! The Emperor boomed in a raspy voice. I care not for the other thirteen, but someone has stolen our one treasure, and they left me with this ridiculous whiff of An absolute tra... An absurd trade at best. The fool looked at the pathetic creature and had to agree. It was a small bird with three wings, two heads and one leg. Perhaps it is magical, the fool remarked. Magical? Ha! Ah, it was totally unnecessary. And look what has happened to my beloved wife. Oh goodness, what has happened to your beloved wife? Is that is the Empress the next one? Okay. Um, well, let's have a look at the... Uh, right, Wiftov. So, is Wiftov... Uh, uh, like a treasure clue? Is it... A key to what the um, that map space will look like. I don't know. I wonder what kind of bird that was. Possibly the fool. Ah, it's a word search. It's a bird word search. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know if I'm up for word searches at the moment. Maybe I am. Let's see. I can see nightingale. There you go. I need twenty-five to go. Oh my goodness. Um. Bobo? No. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if um, I will know enough. This swallow. Meadow lark, that's nice. Um, buzzard. Alright, we're doing, we're doing some. Um, what else? What else? Woodpecker is there. Um, a wren. That's that's nice. Um, beep, beep, beep. Dove. What dove is there. Um, goose. Oh, I still need to do that there as well. Goose. Uh, heron is there. Um, crane is there. Um, well, there's lots of areas we haven't found words in, so I'll try and focus on those if I can. Uh, sparrow, there you go. Uh, there's probably something across here somewhere, isn't there? Um, oh, what's this car cardinal? There you go. That looked like that's resolving into something before my eyes. Um, what else is there? There's poor, poor Will, poor Will, son of a bird. That's very strange, isn't it? Um, whip, poor, whip. 
whip or will. Whip or will. That's strange. Um, Finch is there. Um, Hippo. That's, bo that's bothering me that line. Um, Robin is there. Blue Jay is there. Um. What else could be around here? Check. Thrush. Is this the thrush? Thrush. Um, cool. There's definitely something in the middle here, isn't there? I keep seeing owl, but there's a U in it, so that's not quite right. Um, but there probably is owl somewhere? Do you think there's got to be? CEO. Um, uh, what about let's see. It says ten to go. That's quite a lot, isn't it? So we should be able to spot something. I think it will just save what we've done when we come back to it. If we we leave it halfway through. Which should be nice, um, so we can take a fresh look at it another time if we want to. I'm gonna do what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do parakeet. Apparently, oh, there's a double S. That's always suspicious, isn't it? But I can't think of birds with double S's in. Uh, but does that mean that there's? Uh... No, I don't. I mean, there might be one across. This... No. Uh, it's probably. It's probably something going on here. There's Geo Pavilion. There's Gem. Um, there's something going down. I mean, I like Bobo, to be honest. Bobo? Bobo Link? Bobo Link? Bobo Link? Bobo Link! I've never heard of a Bobo Link, so the fact that I got that is um, is quite exciting. Okay, maybe that'll make the rest of the search easier, I don't know. Uh, is Whippoorwill a bird? It is, okay. So look out for weird things that might be words, because uh, some of them are going to be that. Okay, so this I was thinking that this um, having a nice relaxing word search again is not as intense as it was for the vegetable search or the um, what was the other one we had to search for. But then if this has got some very um, uh, niche bird names, let's say, that might be um, that might be why this is uh, or how this is a more difficult. Um, tasks than the previous ones. Because, uh, I, yeah, because you're given so much that you can attempt first of all. I wasn't sure if there'd be like a difficulty curve to this game, but there does seem to be, which is, is really interesting. It's like the earlier ones sort of uh, get you trained up on some of the puzzle forms, and then the, uh, the later ones uh, just make them a lot more difficult. Uh, we haven't even got to, to uh, the fifth section yet, have we? Amazing. Okay, so there's a snut there. Um, that's, where is it? There's a... Um, so I, I want to still look in this area because I think there's more to be found here. Is it a UCHEP? Is it a... Uh, an EVO chus a, a new world? 
Okay, perhaps not. Um, how about... Somewhere intersecting here? That doesn't look like that's going to form a word of any sort. Um, there could be something down through one of these, couldn't there? Uh, let's have a look. Anything looks vaguely word like. No, not really. Boy? Boy. Interesting. Still seven, though. Um, that's quite a lot. So normally there aren't any um, immediately adjacent parallel words, um, so I'll bear that in mind because I think that will probably hold true for this. This is what oh duck! I just saw duck. Brilliant. Um, so there won't be anything in either of these rows, I don't think. But there won't be something that intersects them, um, like a kozok or a zoki. No, um, I guess that would yeah that would quite work. Um, but it does mean we're kind of running out of space, I feel. Um, unless we can use like the W to get like a guppiddle, or uh, we can go across here to get a bick, or um, no, sav, um, ool, an ool. An Ori, and a Vuol, uh, a Jeff. Hmm. Yes, yeah, this definitely feels more tricky. A Geo, an Geo, um. Uh, and across one. A Joe. Do you? Ah, oh, tricky. I think uh, I'll leave that one there. I think that'll save what we've done. Let's just check. Yeah, it does. Brilliant. Uh, well, let's save. Let's save our games. We haven't done that yet today. Have we? That's important. Let's go back to the sun, and we'll see if we can work out anything about this. So we've unlocked one, two, three, four, which is is okay. Not bad. So um, before we do that, should we try and put other ones in order? Oh no. Well, we'll just get confused, won't we? I think. I mean, I'll, I'll get confused. So let's go. Uh, Pyramids there with a D. Uh, or the vines with a Z. Uh, something with a 9. With a little grid on it. Which probably goes with that, doesn't it, I imagine. Um, and that's a castle with a flower? Maybe? A 26. Okay, so. Uh, Okay, in the order that they appear here, we know the sun. I think that's got to be the sun, because that's the image as it appears um, originally. Is that already in the right place? Do we know? Do we know? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. So I know the path heads down, so something... The next one's got to be immediately below. It's the singer, which we don't know about. The warrior we don't know about. The page of wands we do know about. What is the page of wands? I think that's one we did more recently, wasn't it? The page, the the wand. Was there one just called the wand? Did I miss that? Miss uh, yeah, the significance of that yeah. Wand. The page of wands. Oh yeah. Pyramids have the letter E. Have we got one with pyramids that have the letter E? 
I thought lots of pyramids. Have we got any that come? Oh, I don't know. What, yeah, I don't know how that will enter, do I? Because that uh, could enter anyway. Um, pyramids. So I've got those pyramids with five on them. These pyramids with some writing, which doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. An S on them. Um, there's these pyramids that have D on them. There's. Uh, Yeah, don't know. Don't know there. Okay, so that's something, I suppose. Um, I feel like this and this are like diagonally opposite each other ones. Just because of this grid shape. And I think... But do I, do I even know which ones they are? I guess I don't. It's Red Urn, which was one of them. Um, I know that these two need to go next to each other because they're the maze, so we kind of worked out that that was one thing. I think the path goes in and out at the same point, which is a little confusing because it would have to kind of branch off in the next image. But there's no, there's no out there, is there? Other than, hmm, that is interesting. There's this one which is kind of a weird. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go through them. So we did the page of wands and weren't sure. The knight of wands is. Uh, hang on, can I do a quick search? Oh, I can. Uh, wands. Yep. Knight of wands. Brilliant. Thank you. Uh, middle appearance inscribed with X, and to the south. So that's the, uh, again, that's the pyramid's location relative to this location, but not necessarily what this location is. Hi, yay, yay. Uh, should we have a look at the Knight of Wands? Uh, so it's a knight on a horse, and the puzzle was the message one. Um, Using. Oh, it's kind of east. Oh no, I thought if there was an E, I was going to say east and south, but there's. Yeah. Not sure about that. Um, Alright, the Wheel of Fortune. What do we know about the Wheel of Fortune? Um, so that was the exciting card game we played, which I think we were spoiled by because that was, uh, that was quite an engaging mini game by itself. Um, compared to some of the other puzzles. Um, the pyramids H on H on map has stone, bridge and pond. Interesting. Stone, bridge and pond. Is there one? Is there a stone, bridge and pond? That's kind of got a bridge. There's lots of other things on it as well. Um, oh, that's got a stone, bridge and pond. And an M on it, which... I don't quite get. So that's probably uh, the pyramids one, which I haven't got to yet. So I jumped ahead a little bit. I think this might be the Wheel of Fortune, you know, with the broken wheel. The Wheel of Fortune is before the Knight of Wands, which is either to the bottom or the right of it. And the Knight of Wands, we weren't really sure about. Okay. Um, yes, I guess it prob it pro I've probably got a little bit more confused by having done quite a lot and not done anything with the map. Whereas we could, if we managed to get like a run of locations going we could um, then sort of slot new ones into the map more easily is what I'm thinking. I'm going to put this in the corner because that bothers me that it's not like in a clean start somewhere. I don't know if that's uh, going to be helpful or not. So I think like that's the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, what's the archway? Do I know anything about the archway?
Hang on. Archway. There we go. Um, treasure of kings. Between the four, one of the land's lost treasures will be restored. Oh. Uh, I mean, that is an archway. I could go there or there. No, that doesn't marry up with the image from the Wheel of Fortune, so that can't be the archway. Well, or that can't be the Wheel of Fortune. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, let's check the text of the archway. So six young warriors waving their staffs. And the puzzle was a maze. Okay. So I mean we did have I'm pretty sure we had this maze image um for quite a while before oh hello. Um before we did much, but that doesn't marry up with that one either. So yeah, no not not really sold on any of those. Um pyramids, we did have a look at the text of that didn't we? Um let's grab the letter H. Stonebridge crossing a pond, which I think we've located. Um, Alright, so then there's the canopy, which was Red Urn. So Red Urn was after the bridge with the pond. Okay, can we do that then? Oh, hang on, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Red Urn, so this is Red Urn. Uh, bridge with pond. There. So that could lead into that one, possibly. Right. So. Uh, Bridge's Pond was Pyramids. Canopy was Red Urn. Uh, Fighting Boys was Bad Yam. Um. Which I don't think there's much of a clue for. Um, but it'd be something that fitted in. If this was correct, there'd be something that fitted in around there? Because. What is. Uh, so, hey, what's two after that? So, it'd be. Pyramids, the canopy, the fighting boys, and then the stone wall. But I don't think we'd have that one yet because we haven't. Oh, maybe it would. Maybe we get the thing when we unlock the new location. So that would that would make sense. Um, so um, the stone wall would be... I mean that could be an image of a stone wall? Maybe. Um, that was New Gnu. Nine tall fighting stars. Interesting. Okay. And then we don't know what comes after that. Uh, there's a what? I mean theoretically there's a watchtower but we don't know where that is. Queen of Wands. Um, Bright Yellow Sun we got the magic word clack. Yeah, it's all a bit uh, hard to pin down, isn't it? Oh, hang on, there's this as well. Ah, so that could go with that, possibly. And that, oh, that could go with that. 
Oh, hello. No, let's. No, that doesn't go with that. I don't think. So let's pop that over there. Pop that over there. And then that could be a sequence, couldn't it? Like that. Um, so we've got another corner of square things. But I think that actually marries up pretty well for some reason. So I might keep that sequence. Um, so maybe some of this we can work out visually, if nothing else. Uh, there's a sunflower on the way to a castle, which could be... That could be the Queen of Wands. And then the wand itself was just a big wand sticking up from something. That looks like a beanstalk, doesn't it? So it's probably not that. How tricky. I mean, that's a broken wheel, and that's... Looks like a map, like a compass rose next to a coast, maybe? Hmm. Intriguing. So yeah, not entirely sure on this front. Um, yeah, so the Queen of Wands could be that one, but then the wand itself would have to have a thing come down from the middle and be a wand. I suppose that is kind of how wands appear. Ah, we've got a we've got an intruder in the chat. But it's alright, we're just about to finish. Uh, how do I how do I use my special tools to do this? How do I do this? I use my moderation tools. Never mind. I'll sort that out later. Um, I think we're gonna leave it there for now. I uh, yeah. We'll leave it we'll leave ourselves puzzling over the um, the possibilities of this uh, I'm sure what the uh, cursor did there. I'll save it again, just to make sure. There we go. Oh, it's kind of the, the uh, watch explodes when it's done. Yeah, let's leave it there. So that, it was an interesting um, interesting run at the um, at the puzzles this time. I feel like, well, either my capacity is diminished or the, the puzzles are getting a little more complicated. I will have a think about um, what to do with them. I might have a little go at maybe... Um, ordering things uh, in the sun map and just show you where I've got to with that. I mean there are plenty more puzzles to try and attempt. I think we could have got a good chance at doing the Emperor one. Um, it'd just be a matter of time I think. Yeah, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with our progress. Thank you very much for joining me, um, live or on demand. Very much appreciate it. Um, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day uh, and I'll see you again soon. I don't know when I'll next be live streaming. I um, got a busy weekend next weekend, so I won't be doing another Sunday brunch just yet. Um, but there'll be regular videos, at least one a week, on the YouTube channel, Cat Sequences, if you'd like to check out more of the things that I do there. Um, and until next time, everybody, take care. Bye bye.